I think it's about time for a treatment. As you can see, uh, my melasma spots from some recent blemishes just kind of looking flared up. And so this is before. And this is immediately after. Sephora has other clay masks, but the reason I'm using this pink one today is specifically for the issues I mentioned with the redness and uneven skin tone. This one is the uh, Unifying and Brightening Mask, and they say that it will reduce the appearance of skin irregularities, boost the brightness of skin, and leaves your skin fresh, glowing, and even in texture. So that's the key reason for the pink one today. Um, do this either as a morning or daytime mask or nighttime. I haven't found that it leaves you like irritated or um, sensitive afterwards, so you can do it at day or night right now I'm doing it as a daytime one forgot to mention make sure you have a clean face so I'm gonna do a clean face wash before I apply the mask all right nice and clean let's apply that mask twist off and it's like a little tube um, it says four uses but I get a lot more out of that so this will last you a really long time but I'm gonna start with uh, Let's say two pea size amounts and I like to just dab my finger with a little bit of water just to help get it rubbed help it be spreadable I should say and then if it was you know I put too much water I could always add a tap uh, another bit of the mask so having the touch of water helped me spread it right away and you don't need to do your eye area. It's not really like a moisturizing mask or anything like that or hydrating. So, um, and, I mean, unless you have a lot of spots near your eyes, but uh, I would say you don't need to. And so now with this extra, I'm just gonna make sure I really tap it into the areas where I saw a lot of the unevenness. 15 minutes is up. I'm going to take off the mask. Um, pretty much you can rinse it off. I like to add in using these sponges. It's just fun. It makes me feel like I'm at the spa. I know they use these when I uh, have gotten facials and they're reusable. You can wash them with like, um, you know, whatever you use to wash your makeup off with. Let them air dry. You can get them at Sally's Beauty, but just some... And this is immediately after of me rinsing off with cool water and patting dry. I don't know, I feel like it looks brighter. Clay masks in general uh, will exfoliate your skin and deep cleanse without necessarily over drying your face. So it's they're generally good for all skin tones. And then the different colors are for different targets. Um, Sephora makes their different colors for different areas. We just talked about the pink. Um, the yellow is for toning and firming up your skin. The gray is for like when you're feeling uh, maybe a little bit more oily than usual and you want to mattify your face. There's also a green one that I love that I ran out I need to get, but that's more so maybe um, you feel like you're on the verge of a breakout or you have a lot of impurities and you want to uh, reel that in if you're really into uh, lightening and brightening your skin for dark spots or acne scars be sure to check out this video here where I show you a at-home facial using a lemon so that's obviously cost-effective quick and something you can do at home but it's really beneficial uh, natural treatment and I think you'll enjoy it so thanks for stopping by and I wish you beautiful healthy and happy skin